My face is glowing. Today, I'm gonna show you how dreadful these can be to take out, but also how easy it can be to take out if you wanna take your time and do it right. Welcome and thanks for sipping some time with me today. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to get a wheel off when you've got a wheel stud that's rotating basically with the lug nut when you're turning it, trying to get it off with a wrench impact or whatever. And it's usually because it's cross-threaded or it's stripped uh, or something just has given inside where it's attached to the hub. In any case, you're in trouble because you gotta get that wheel off and how do you get, get at it? Well, I'm gonna show you in this episode a method that I use, it's kind of a method and a half, we'll call it, and you'll see why later, uh, of one thing to try and then I can elaborate on to, to, to go further on that. And I'm gonna show you basically how to take care of that and not damage your rim. You are gonna, the, the lug nut and the stud will be toast when you're done with it, but at least you'll save everything and your hub will be fine and you just gotta replace that stud once you get everything apart. So I'll show you the, the best way to do that. So. Let's get on with it. I was about to bleed the brakes. Actually, I was going to flush the brakes and I got everything off in the car and my second last lug nut. I'll show you what happened. This lug nut is was stripped cross threaded on apparently. And when I took the impact to it, it started turning the lug itself, the stud. So. What that means is I had to drill this out because there's no way else to get this out, which really sucks. Really, 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 really sucks. So let's get to it. My face is glowing. That's just because of the light. I'll show you kind of the method I'm doing. A couple things I tried. I tried, well, let me just show you. Let me bring in. Okay, you can see the culprit there. Sometimes you can wedge in there, and I use these, these pry bars, and you can kind of wedge in here to tighten it up to hopefully that it catches enough with the impact on a lug nut that it breaks through. All I did is just make it worse, I think, as far as it's turning. In fact, I tried to drill it out, and I was able to drill the cap out, but it just turns even if I try to tighten it up. So that method of just drilling this set out direct isn't going to work. So I'm doing another method. I'm taking a bit. You can see how I'm cutting it there. And what I'm doing is because that is not turning. It's a small bit, not trying to drill the whole thing and I'm drilling in the side there. What I'm trying to do is basically break that open and now I'm gonna go with a wider bit and eventually it's gonna split the nut and then it'll come off. So this is a method that I've thought of myself. Maybe others do this, but no one ever told me or showed me or I never looked it up. I just thought this is kind of an, maybe an easy way to try and split the nut. I gotta replace the, the stud anyway so let's see how this works. I'm pretty sure it'll work because now I should just have to keep enlarging the bits until that splits. And this way I've got less danger of hurting this nice wheel. And that's pretty important as well. So bear with me and uh, we'll see how this goes.
progress of me drilling slowly coming through. That's so it doesn't rotate is why I'm off to the side, but it's also gonna split the nut. But I think I need a few more drill bits yet to top size. Just a little note here. I always use uh, some type of oil for cutting because you know what a dry bit, how, uh, how much friction there can be and it'll ruin your bit. It's out and there we are. So what I did, see the remnants of it here. Ah, here we go, there we are. So you can see how I drilled it out and it, I actually didn't have to split it. It weakened enough that then I was able to put a socket on it. The impact took her out. So that's out. Now we have to replace that stud. And I actually can't remember if I've got to pull the hub out to put the stud, wheel stud in. And it might have to be welded in. I don't know if it's stripped on the wheel hub or the compression fit of the of the stud will be enough for the new one. We're going to find out. And there's the, the culprit, wheel stud. You suck, wheel stud. Well, let's see the moment of truth here. Oh, I think we can. All right, let's get that stud, the bad one here. Let's show it to you. Turn it here, see this, that's it. The good news is I can take that out and I don't have to remove the hub. Yay! I just couldn't remember that and I'm so happy that I don't have to remove the hub. And I think I got a spare one of these somewhere. It was a close up, drilled out. And because I work in these cars lots, I actually have some in stock, in my own little stock. It's awesome. Like I said, it's a little compression fit on the teeth there. You just basically go in, let me show you here. Go in, and then we'll press that in. It won't probably get completely tight until we tighten the lug nut, and then it fits in, and then it shouldn't turn. If you want to compare how the teeth look See? Oh, that is. It stripped right off. Now, it was probably a little weak for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, because the lug nut was cross-threaded, that's what gave it the edge as soon as I put the impact on it, which caused all the grief. I'm not going to put a wheel on and tighten it up and just hope that that actually compresses. I'm going to actually put a nut on and a washer and then compress it that way. That way I know for sure that it's snug and we're good. in now. There we are. Good and tight now. as new again there we go we're good <sighs> right back to ground zero so there you have it a wheel crisis solved which if any of you uh, have worked on a lot of cars especially older cars you know what I'm talking about you've probably encountered this or you're going to encounter this so I hope this video can help you in ways and how you can help the problem solve the problem and get that stud or that lug nut off that stud so you can remove your wheel. And uh, of course, this isn't the only method. This is the method that I use that I find successful. I'd really like if you have other alternatives, other options that you've done, please put them in the comments and share with everybody those ideas because I just show you what I do, but I think a lot of you out there have done other things that everyone would be interested in and learning from, and that's what this channel is about. So I want to thank you for joining this. I hope you found this of interest. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And of course, enjoy every day and always make it right.